What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, we are taking a popular Chinese dish, orange chicken, that you would find at a P.F. Chang's, a Chinese restaurant, a sushi bar, you know what I'm talking about. It's amazing, but we all know it's not good for you. Too much fat, they're deep frying it. There's a lot of sugar in there, but don't you guys worry. As always, Remy's got you. In today's video, we're gonna make anabolic orange chicken. Not only is this recipe stupid simple to make, it tastes amazing and it's not gonna throw you off your diet. I've been saying it for years, but I'm gonna say it again, as long as you guys are eating the foods on this channel, you are definitely following the best tasting diet on the planet. And if you want all of my recipes broken down in an easy to use guide that fits right in your pocket, don't forget my cookbook is available at the first link in the description. All the other diets out there, they're boring, they're unsustainable, and you're not eating good food. With this diet, as long as you follow what I lay out in this, not only are you going to see results, but you're going to be eating better tasting food than you were before. Link in description to check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do do it! Chef school starts now. What we got here is four chicken breast tenderloins. If you're unfamiliar, this is just chicken breast that they trim down into nice little bite-sized strips. And the benefit of these, I think, when buying them is that they virtually come with no trimming required. So all you gotta do, like we're about to do, is cut them up into little pieces straight away. So all we're gonna do now is go in and cut all this chicken up into little bite-sized pieces the same size you think you would get when you would order orange chicken at your favorite restaurants. Now the next step with our cube chicken is we want to bread it. Now normally on this channel when we're doing anabolic crispy boneless wings or something that we want to bread and give it that crunchy exterior, we end up using white flour. But if you guys have had orange chicken, you know that that's not quite how it is. So what we're gonna use instead to give it that nice crispy exterior without overdoing it is we're going to use cornstarch. So all I wanna do is measure out 15 grams in a large mixing bowl. And then all I'm gonna do now is take each piece of chicken one by one, toss it in the cornstarch, give it little flip, let it get coated, kind of scoot it to the edge. And you basically want to act like the chicken is a mobster in the 80s. Just jump right into that white powder. And this is it, one by one. Get them fairly coated, rinse and repeat till the final one. And we're gonna have ourselves a nice little crispy outer bread. So we got the chicken finished, but before I toss it in the air fryer and make a ton of noise, I wanna go ahead and show you guys just how easy it is to make orange sauce right in your kitchen that's lower calorie, less sugar, all of the above. So what we're gonna do is grab a small bowl and start adding all of our ingredients in there for the sauce. What I have here is a fresh orange that I sliced in half. You may not know this, but the sauce for orange chicken has a primary component, which is actual orange juice. If you do it fresh squeezed like this, it's gonna be way healthier than using anything out of the carton. So I'm just gonna squeeze in 30 grams. I find this is usually the juice out of one regular sized orange. And number two. Next up, we got 16 grams of oyster sauce. This is gonna add a little bit of color, but also give us a ton of flavor. You gotta watch this stuff because it's thick. It does not wanna come out of the jar. So you gotta give her a little pat on the rear end, keep her in line. And after that, we need 15 grams of a low sodium soy sauce. And the next ingredient to give this a ton of flavor, we need 10 grams of honey, or if you you can find it. I like sugar-free honey, but I know it's hard to find. They have the exact same macros though, so don't worry if you can't find sugar-free. There we go. Now we got 10 grams of rice vinegar. Be real careful not to overdo it on this. You want a perfect balance. Next up, we gotta add that garlic and ginger. So starting with garlic, we're gonna use three grams of minced garlic. Put it right down in here. And then we're gonna add about two grams of ginger paste. And finally, we just need five grams of cornstarch, five grams of water, and last but not not least, we need some crushed red pepper flakes. Now, this ingredient is one you gotta be honest with yourself about. So for a normal person out there that's not a fan of spicy stuff, maybe just a quick dash is all you would want. If you want a little spicier, you can add more. If you're totally against heat, you don't have to add it at all. But I do recommend optimally, maybe for my personal preference, about that is perfect. Now that we got everything in here, I'm just gonna go in with a spoon. And you'll see if you look down in here that there's some of your sauce and other things that don't break up when you mix it, which is totally fine. We're gonna be adding this to the heat and that's where the true magic happens. So once you get it to about right here, it's good to go. 
All right, guys, it is time to cook some food. What I got here is my air fryer basket for my Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Any basket air fryer will work with this. But if you wanna see the exact model I'm using, it's linked in my description box where all my kitchen supplies are at. So what I wanna do is hit the basket with non-stick spray. Then all I'm gonna do now is grab my chicken piece by piece and place it down in the air fryer. The goal being that I don't want any of these pieces of chicken to be touching. That's gonna ensure they cook optimally. So we got all the chicken in here and before we toss it in the air fryer, what we want to do is hit all of the chicken with a light coating of non-stick spray. That's going to moisten up that cornstarch and make these even more crispy once they're finished. So just give it a few light sprays. And what we want to do is air fry this chicken around 400 degrees for between 11 and 14 minutes. One thing I recommend is at the halfway point, opening it up, checking them. If there's any really white spots that didn't get hit with spray, you might want to touch those up. If not, no big deal. Shake the basket and do the remaining half. Let's do it. The chicken just finished up and I wanna show you the bread. And if you take a look at it, it's slightly crispy. There's a tiny bit there, but it's not overpowering. This is exactly how we want it. Now, let's send her home. And here's how this is gonna go down. Get a small skillet, hit it with nonstick. Then we're just gonna pour in our sauce mixture from earlier. And all I'm gonna do now is set the heat to a little below medium. And I'm gonna continue stirring this with my spatula. You're gonna notice right now, this mainly is liquid. But once that cornstarch takes effect and this starts thickening up, in two to three minutes, this is gonna completely transfer form into a sticky orange sauce. And once your sauce thickens up, we're gonna pull it off from the heat. And if you take a look at it, it is definitely much thicker in just how we want it. All that's left to do is to toss our chicken down inside. And now we're just gonna move everything around until all of our chicken is fully coated in sauce. There you go, guys. This is anabolic orange chicken. I'm telling you, not only is the chicken amazing by itself, but the real star of the show is when you add this sauce. I know it's quite a few ingredients, but it's so little of each one that if you buy them, you're going to have enough to be able to make this recipe like 50 times. Plus, if you watch this channel or you have my cookbook, I tend to use a lot of the same ingredients in a lot of recipes. So it isn't a bad idea to have those around. Final thing we're going to do to this is add some toasted sesame seeds right on top and perfect. I need to ask you guys a favor. If this channel has helped you lose weight, figure out your macros, get on a better diet, anything like that. And if you can hit that thumbs up button for me, that would mean the world. That is one of the most important components of making sure your videos get shared out to other people. So if you legitimately got some value out of this, that thumbs up means the world. Anyways, guys, before this gets cold, let's try her out. All right, guys, let's get it. But first, the new Anabar flavors, I'm gonna knock myself out. The white chocolate cinnamon toast crunch and the milk chocolate peanut butter and jelly are not only fire, but they're gonna be dropping January 27th. So make sure you follow Anabar Official on social media or me as we get closer so you know the exact time and all that stuff. So appreciate all the support on Anabars, by the way. The other flavors are also fire and we are still the best tasting protein bar on the market. If you wanna check them out, finalbossformance.com. Could RGF10 will save you 10% and while you're there, you can sign up for the newsletter. That way you will receive an email for every launch anytime this stuff is back in stock. Because if you go check right now, you're gonna notice we don't have some flavors because they're that good. So do that, you're gonna be ahead of the curve, baby. All right, and here we go. Let me get this piece right here. It's got some seeds on it, a nice helping of sauce. Everything we want. Three, two, one, let go. Guys, you gotta believe me when I tell you that if you went to your favorite restaurant and you ordered orange chicken, they brought you this, put it on your plate, you would have no idea that it was the healthier, better for you anabolic version. The chicken's cooked perfectly, the breading is amazing, but the real star of the show is that thick orange sauce. With the fresh orange juice, the garlic, and the ginger, it all comes together and it uh, is literally perfect. Seriously, you're gonna take a bite and you're gonna go, that's perfect. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up for the whole thing is only 350 calories, two grams of fat, 51 grams of protein, 32 grams of carbs with zero grams of fiber. Only 350 calories for an order of sweet and spicy orange chicken. Ooh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the prime example of what the anabolic diet stands for. You're eating foods you love, foods that are so good you can't distinguish them from their counterparts and you're still losing weight, building muscle, and putting your best foot forward. That is the key to a lifestyle diet right there. When you love what you're doing, this never feels like you're dieting. It doesn't feel like you're doing anything that you don't want to be doing. That's why this is the best diet in the world. And here we go. It's time for the final bite. Bone apple teeth. 
Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this recipe right here, paired with a Sprite Zero Sugar, it's a match made in heaven, the perfect anabolic meal. And you already know, if you have my cookbook, go get your updated copy because this recipe is now in there, along with all the other recipes on my channel. The ultimate follow along diet guide that you put in your pocket, because every time I drop a new video like this and we have a new creation that you want to try out, the entire recipe is broken down, what you got to weigh, what you got to buy, everything right in this book. And it's a one-time purchase, so it's a gift that keeps on giving. Link in description, baby. You won't regret it. All right, guys, hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you're well on the way to crushing those New Year's resolutions. If you are and you're making good progress, comment down below. If you make this recipe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And folks, I am out of here. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We are not leaving any of that sauce behind. Gravy.